we've been hearing a lot of industry noise around the PSC six. Can you explain what that is? So Nokia's PSE success is the latest sixth generation of super coherent optics optimized for maximum performance in optical transport networks. Coherent optics typically leverage advances in silicon node geometry, so essentially Moore's law, as well as advances in high-speed electro-optics. So from that perspective, PSE success implements the latest in both of these areas with a digital coherent signal processor that operates at 130 gigabyte speeds using five nanometer silicon. What's the difference between the PEC success and previous generations of coherent optics? So coherent optics typically improve capabilities for customers in three areas, scale, performance, and sustainability. From that perspective, PSC success increases scale by operating at wavelength speeds of up to 1.2 terabits per second, which is a significant increase from prior generations that capped out at 600 or 800 gigabits per second. From a performance standpoint, a really important requirement for network operators is to operate at 800 gig speeds over very long distances to support new 800 gigabit Ethernet services. From that standpoint, PSC success can transport 800 gig E over distances of 2,000 kilometers or more. So both of these scale and performance improvements help network operators by allowing them to deploy more capacity using less optics which reduces their network expenditures. The other area that's increasingly important is also lowering network power consumption. So from that standpoint, PSC success reduces the power per bit at a device level by about 40% and up to 60% at a network level when you factor in the multiplicative effects of the increased performance and higher bit rates. So PSC success improves performance in all of these areas versus prior generations of coherent optics. Are customers using PSE success now? Yes. So PSE success became available in end of 2023 for field trials with customers and has been generally available for deployment since the beginning of 2024. So we're in a combination of you know active deployments with customers as well as continuing field trials uh, with network operators that are evaluating the technology. What are some examples that demonstrate the scale and performance of PSE success? So one area that customers are validating is 800 gigabit per wavelength performance over long haul networks. From that perspective, we've done quite a few field trials with customers, including Global Connect, Lintia, uh, Colt, uh, Surf Telecom, as well as A1 Telecom in Europe, with Windstream and Zeo in the United States, with Megacable in Mexico, and with Optus in Australia. Our customers have also set a few records demonstrating one terabit per second per wavelength performance over long haul links. For example, Zeo in the United States transmitted one terabit per second over a long haul network of 1,004 kilometers. Optus demonstrated one terabit over a 1,050 kilometer network from Sydney to Melbourne. And Rakuten demonstrated 820 kilometer transmission at one terabit over a hybrid terrestrial subsea cable in Japan. So operation over subsea cables is a really exciting aspect of PSC success. We did a trial with Orange demonstrating 800 gigabits per second transmission over the Dunal transatlantic cable spanning 6,600 kilometers. So this is really important because it demonstrates the ability to transport 800 gigabit internet services over transoceanic cable distances. It's really exciting to see so many customers validating this on their long haul networks. What about Metro networks? So Metro networks is an area where the scale of PSC success uh, brings important advantages. So for example, with both Global Connect and Lintia, we were able to show PSC success operating at 1.2 terabits per wavelength uh, for data center interconnection at distances of over 100 kilometers. We also had Megacabla in Mexico uh, demonstrate 1.1 terabit operation over 390 kilometers. The big benefit of that for network operators is being able to do metro data center interconnection with twice the capacity using one third the number of optics compared to using 400 gig global coherent optics, for example. And at the same time, PSE Success also supports a wide range of services from 100 gig E, 400 gig E, and 800 gig E for Metro DCI applications. 
So in summary, why is the PSE success so important to our customers networks? So what we hear from our customers is what they really value around PSC success is the ability to provide the scale to continue growing their network capacity, the performance to help reduce uh, both cost and power consumption, and also the ability to support new high-speed services across any distance in their networks. Uh, we're really happy to be working with network operators across the globe as they evaluate and start deploying PSC success. And with that, we're very thankful for them to be willing to share the results that they're getting in their networks with the broader optical networking community.